Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. I'm Randolph Miller. Coming up on today's show, the Color Music Festival is coming up, and here to tell us more about it is musical director and conductor Marlon Daniel. Also, Bounce reporter Michelle Lemon got a chance to talk with some gospel legends. And later on in the show, we'll hear more about the sixth annual Charleston Jazz Jam, Hand in Hand, a tribute to the Mother Emanuel Amy Church family. We will talk with the founder of the Jazz Club, Dennis Fasuliotis, and music from the Charleston Jazz Club will be closing out the show. Okay, we're here on Bounce Around Charleston, and standing here with me another year, we have Marlon Daniels, and you are the conductor and festival director for Color of Music. Yes. Uh, Welcome back again to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for having me back. Thank you, really. Color of Music. Let me see. Let's talk about the mission of the festival. Well, I, at this point, the Color of Music Festival is the biggest platform for black musicians of wow. who've been classically trained in the world. In the world. That's what I said. So we are very proud to present so many great artists mm -hmm. who are classically trained on the stages of Charleston. Mm. Now, let's talk about your training. Uh, let's talk about Marlon, because from what I'm hearing, you are exceptional. Um, I do what I can. I work hard and I try to bring the best possible performances to the audiences I perform for as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And you look very young. Uh, well, uh, their looks are deceiving, but you know, I, I, I get around. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier I heard you talking about you just came from? I was just in Germany, and, um, and before that I was in uh, Bulgaria, and I was giving a concert there, and um, it was quite, I thought it was a good concert, and um, you know, and it's a lot of these days jet setting. I just got mm -hmm. back four days ago, and then, uh, and then yesterday jumped on a plane and came to Charleston, and um, you know I'm happy to be here. Wow! Now there is only a handful of African American conductors. Why do you think that is? Um, I think one of the reasons is that um, it's not a lack of talent. Okay. But I think that we opportunity, mm -hmm. and um, and I think that that's one of the great things about the Color of Music Festival. We've been providing a platform for some really great artists to be here. Mm -hmm. What has connected you to this festival? What, what, what ties you to it? What ties me to it is I think it's special. It's mm -hmm. one of the rare things that we have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is a platform for classically trained black musicians. Mm -hmm. um, it, that attracted me immediately. Um, the passion also of the founder music director, uh, well, I should say founder and artist and general manager, Lee Pringle. Mm -hmm. And um, his passion brought me in. It was something that I have done in the past. I've worked at the San George Festival in Guadalupe and in the Bahamas. Um, I worked within the festival there for you know Afro and Afro Caribbean musicians, mm -hmm. but there is nothing, and those are smaller f festivals, not on the scope of color of music. Mm -hmm. But to do something in your own country and to be recognized, and to have this kind of platform in your own country, and not have to go to another country, another country, another country, <laughs> and then come back via you know Lufthansa or some other airline is really wow. very special. Now you know Lee Pringle is a hard person to say no to. He is very difficult to say no to. <laughs> <laughs> he is an innovator and a creator. Yes, he's done a whole lot in the Charleston community that we must definitely say thank you to him for. I agree. You know now. Have you always had an interest in classical music? Yes, actually, I have. My father is an amateur m classical musician. Mm -hmm. And I, I say amateur uh, as a case of am more meaning to love, because he definitely plays on a professional level. He plays in several orchestras in Chicago. But he never thought, with the situation and how things were, with less than 2% of African Americans being in American orchestras, mm -hmm. that he would ever be able to make a living being, mm -hmm. being a classical musician. And he never thought I would make a living being a classical musician. So it's really quite an accomplishment, I think. Okay. With such a wonderful genre of music and the performances that we are expecting for the color of music, how important is that for us to bring our young people to educate them? 
oh, we have to educate our young people. And, um, and I think the first of all, we have to inspire them. Mm -hmm. um, I th I've mentioned this in interviews before that I do a lot of community outreach and bringing mm -hmm. kids into my concerts and things mm -hmm. like that. And I never forget that one young lady, you know, in grammar school, and she's not a classical musician at all. She was just one of the kids with the group. Mm -hmm. She came to me afterwards and said, I never thought that there was a such thing as a black conductor. Wow. And now that I've seen you, I feel like I can do anything. Come on, come on. And that really has inspired me to that this day. Well, that really should have made you feel real good. It really did. It really did. It, me it meant that beyond the music, that you know, I was already acting as a role model and inspiring her to follow her dreams as I followed mine. Okay. Now, there's going to be an inaugural gala. Yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Black Tell tie. Us Black tie. Black tie. I mean, put, put on your, your best. Sunday best. <laughs> <laughs> and come on down come to on the Gilead <laughs> Center. Uh, it will be spectacular. Okay. And I, and I encourage everyone to come. Uh, put on your Sunday or your Saturday or your Friday's best and mm -hmm. come down to the Gilead Center, support Color of Music Festival, come to the gala, and, um, you know, have some refreshments with us. Enjoy a wonderful concert that's highlighted by Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Wow. Now, tell us a little bit. Can you talk about some of the people who can, we can expect to see? Oh, at the, uh, at the gala, for sure. Well, we can expect to see uh, Russell Thomas, mm -hmm. and he is one of our brightest tenors. Okay. He is singing in the Deutsches Haus in, in Germany, the Metropolitan Opera, and, um, and they always like to call it something of something, it's a something of something, but um, he's basically our black Pravarati. So if you want to see these <laughs> phenomenal people, come to the gala. Come to the gala. With your black tie on. With your black tie <laughs> on. Okay, <laughs> Color of Music Festival, director and composer Marlon Daniel, thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so now, much. Now, reiterate the dates again. The dates, we're going from the 21st through the 25th, mm -hmm. and there are several concerts going on. All our big orchestra concerts uh, start on Friday and go mm -hmm. through s our Sunday finale with the Brahms Requiem, and we start with the first concert, which is actually an orchestra concert which features Russian pianist Gerard Antimovich, and he will be playing Rachmaninoff III. And you know, we have a black Russian, and it's not a drink. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a real black <laughs> Russian pianist coming and playing Rachmaninoff, a Russian composer, with us in the second concert, of course, is with the gala, where we have Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Okay, and for more information, they can go to the website, of course. and they can find out all of the events and what's happening during the color of music. Yes, they can. Okay, <laughs> thank you for being here at Bounce Around Charleston. And coming up next, we're gonna talk to some mm, wonderful gospel legends. Stay tuned right after this break.